was the WAC Player of the Year a season ago. Don't leave Ford open. Do not leave Jordan Ford alone. You will pay the price. 50 balls all going St. Mary's way. They're making the effort plays. Defensively, offensively, second chance opportunities. Just haven't been able to convert. Oh, it's a nice touch pass underneath. And Gavin Baxter gets BYU on the board. And he said, look, we got to take into account the games that Yoli wasn't there. In particular, when you look at the Boise, Boise State game, they lost in overtime. The game they lost in overtime at St. Mary's. That was an NCAA certified. So when he wanted to come back to school, he had to pay a nine-game price to start off the season. And Marcelo, the Arizona transfer. Now it's T.J. Hawes looking for some room. Steps back. Got a three. Oh, two. That won't go. St. Mary's is now two for 12 from the field to start. Toulson. Yes. Eight to shoot. It's with Jordan Ford. He's going to try and create. He's got it back for three. Yes! Two field goals in the first eight minutes for St. Mary's, and they are both Jordan Ford threes. Hawes turns the corner, throws one up, and throwing it down. East Coast Conference is on the bench. Dan Fo two in the post. Goes baseline and scores. BYU right now, it's about just controlling the ball. They have seven turnovers already in this game. That's a lot of empty possessions in a very short period of time. NBA three for Jake Toulson. I mean, just advanced to the semifinals. So this is the first game that the Cougs have played since February 29th, leap day, as Yoli Childs gets it done inside. He's right now, four turnovers in the last couple minutes. A couple of those are shot clock violations. That's the difference between BYU this year and BYU in shooting 19% so far. Well, they'll shoot a higher percentage if they've got access to the baseline like that. Krister Zorix got the record at 1,047. 4-2 with the reverse. Had the rebound. Try to flip past to Celius. It's a turnover. Here's Fitz. Yes. The number one minutes played player in all of college basketball. Well, and without him on the floor, you can defensively back off, guys. I mean, he, not as many three-point shooters on the outside. Tools hit from way outside. You try to bait him into shooting the outside shot. Dribble penetration is where he hurts you. Skip pass to the wing, and there is a three made that's, by a wide-open Alex Duke as the freshman. That's Yoli Childs gets to the oh, baseline and throws it down. How about that rip and go? Turn and face, rip and go, baseline right to the rim. Ended up a game they lost by 30 at home to Gonzaga. This makes no sense that he's been on the bench this long. Backdoor Haas, yes. Beautifully executed by BYU. And frustration continues for St. Mary's. Marcelo connects. Posting up for two. The double team comes. He still muscles it up and in. You can. Marcelo just jumped that. Didn't allow that handoff action right back to Jordan Ford. Ford, the floater. Goes. That's the first time he's been able to turn the corner and get downhill. And Pepperdine's going to be harder than this game was. And it was. They had to lay off. You had to deal with success. Sometimes it's more mental than it is actually physical. Not all four of the coaches here tonight. Todd Golden, extremely young, but using his analytics and the elite level job. I, I think, by the way, watching that. With Dan Fo too, picking up his fourth personal foul. The winner looking to advance to take on Gonzaga tomorrow night in the championship game at 9 Eastern. Child steps back. Hits a three. Driving again if I'm Malik Fitz. Fades away for three instead. Offensive rebound, Jock Perry. Time. Yoli Childs over Perry. It's another three. Susie. What, what other sports can we talk about? Do they do that in water polo? <laughs> 
0-2, playing with four fouls. Back in the game, lays it in. If there was anything flagrant or malicious, when going back there, they could now assess that there was actually no foul, so they rescinded the foul. However, they could not. Jordan Ford hit a tough fadeaway, and now he gets a hand in, creates the steal, and goes to the basket and lays it in. Jordan Ford starting to change this game as BYU's lead is down to one. Jordan Ford thought about a step back. Leans in. Connects! You see him hit the brakes. Yoli Childs to his left. Again a miss. Celius. Offensive rebound. Plus the foul. And BYU's got the lead back. Yoli Childs in the post again. Plays catch with Hawks. Gets to the baseline. Muscles it up and in. That was a great post. Pass out. It's in the hands of a freshman. Now it's Ford. Back out to Fitz. Five to shoot. Fitz off balance. His second field goal of the night. Makes it a two-point or a one-point game. Throw it in. It's into Ford. Jordan Ford. For the win. Got it! 1.4 seconds to go. Fort line. Take one dribble. You've got time for one dribble here. Home run pass. Yoli Childs knocked out of bounds. It belongs to St. Mary's. And they are going to advance to the title game tomorrow night. Any time will expire. I am really surprised that they didn't hit Hawes there in that moment. There's the touch. And that does it. Jordan Ford hits the game winner. And St. Mary's somehow outlasts BYU. They will take on Gonzaga for the West Coast Conference title tomorrow night.